I welcome to today's video. We will be talking about streaming EPL job using AWS Glue. So for the purposes of the demo, we will be reading the real time data from Kinesis data stream through Glue streaming ETL and loading it into Amazon S3. So to generate the data, we will be using a simple Python script which generates random data every five seconds and ingest the data into Kinesis data stream. So there are a couple of prerequisites for this demo. The first one, we need to have the S3 bucket and folders to store the output data and the associated glue script. An IAM role, which has right access to the above S3 bucket to store the output data. The third one, Kinesis data stream, which is going to act as a source for the AWS glue streaming job. And fourth one, we will be creating the Glue interactive session to run the data generator Python script. With that being said, let's get into the demo. I'm on AWS console. Navigate to the S3. Under the bucket, I have already created a folder called output data. And this is the place we will be storing the output data from the clue streaming job. As a next step, let us go ahead and create the Kinesis data stream. So select the Kinesis data streams and hit create data stream. And give a name. and select the provision capacity and leave the number of shards one as a default and then hit create data stream. Data stream may take 30 seconds to a minute to get it created. Meanwhile, we can go ahead and create our Glue ETL job. Navigate to AWS Glue console. Click on ETL job and select whistles with blank canvas and hit create. From the sources, click Amazon Kinesis and this is going to be the source for us to extract the real time data. And from the uh, target, let us select S3. Only these two nodes are needed for our demo. Let's go ahead and configure the properties for these nodes. Select on Amazon Kinesis. Select the stream name. So demo stream we just created. Let's go ahead and choose that and leave the data format as JSON and window size, let it be 100 seconds. Let's click on the Amazon S3 node and format let it be parquet and compression type snappy let's go ahead and choose the path for the target file navigate through the bucket and select output data this is the place we want to store the output data from this group. and rest all going to be default and navigate to job detail and let's name a job blue Streaming demo. And let's select an IAM role which has access to the uh, S3 bucket, right access to the S3 bucket. I already have one created. Let me go ahead and choose that. If you don't have an appropriate IAM role, please go ahead and create the one. And most of these properties we will um, leave it default and pay attention to number of workers. Uh, sometimes these number of workers are uh, by default selected as 10. You may go ahead and reduce it to two uh, for the purposes of this demo. We are not going to process a high volume data, so two should be good enough. And click on advanced properties and let's give a name to the grip. Glue, streaming, demo we will change the script path as well 
I have the folder created to store the script. I'm selecting that. And similarly for the um, temporary path. And we will uncheck the Spark UI and then go ahead and change the path of this temporary files. Select them and choose. I think that's pretty much. Let's go ahead and save this job. Okay, all looks good. So next step, let us go ahead and create our uh, data generator PP. So for that, we will be using a uh, Glue Interactive Sessions. Let me navigate to Glue once again. Under ETL Jobs, select Jupyter Notebook and hit Create. And give a name. And select the IAM role, which has access to the um, no, every bucket. Hit start notebook. Probably it will take a minute or so to start the notebook. We'll pause the video here and resume on set up. Okay, our notebook is up now. Uh, we will make a couple of config changes and start the interactive session. The first one, the worker type, by default it is g.1x, let it be. And next parameter, number of workers, by default it is 5. But for demo purpose, let us go ahead and change it. And then run the cell. Probably it will take a minute to create the interactive session. Meanwhile, let us take a quick look at the which we are going to use to generate the data. So we are using uh, Bodo 3 uh, to create the Kinesis client at this line. And then within a while loop, uh, so we have taken the current time from the uh, datetime.now and we are calculating the sales volume uh, from the random function. And using the current time and sales volume, we are formulating a JSON record. And if you look at the next line in response, we are saying kinesis.put record. And then we have given the name of the kinesis stream. And then data is basically what we have constructed in the above line. right? And finally, we are implementing our loop. And last line, we have given a sleep of five seconds to limit the number of records which get ingested into the demo stream. So our interactive session has been created. Now let's go ahead and run this code snippet. Okay, it started running. Now we can go ahead and start our smooth streaming job as well. Okay, go ahead and hit run. Jasmine successfully started. Let's navigate to run detail. Okay, it's running. Let's navigate to the output data S3 box. All right, so probably it will take a um, Two minutes to get our uh, first batch of data loaded into the uh, output folder. Reason being, we have given 100 seconds as window time. It's going to wait for 100 seconds and select all of the records which got ingested in that uh, you know window. Then it will get loaded into the output data folder. I'll pass the video here and we'll resume as soon as we have a first batch of data available in the output data folder. Okay, so we have our first set of data created. It is basically partitioned on the uh, you know date and uh, time. The so first level folder is in just year. Then we have the month, we have day and hour. So within which we have set of parquet files. Let us go ahead and take a look at the parquet file. Select and click on S3 select and set the output format as CSV for better readability and hit 
run SQL query. Now, here we go. So here uh, we can see for every five seconds, uh, the record is getting generated and we are able to pull that record using the glue streaming and load it into S3. So here first record got generated by you know, 34th second and next 39th second and 44th second and so on and so forth with some random sales volumes. We may be able to see a couple of more files. Let's navigate and see if you know next batch has arrived. Yes, we are able to see the um, the third file as well. So the reason we have uh, you know the individual files coming in here. So every five, um, sorry, every hundred seconds, uh, it will fetch the uh, record and create it as a new batch over here. All right. So one thing to note: um, the glue streaming job is not going to automatically stop unless we explicitly cancel it or stop it. So to avoid cons, I'm going to select this job over here and click actions and click stop run. So okay, successfully stop the uh, glue streaming demo job. So with that, so we have created a simple glue streaming job, which pulls the data from the Genesis data stream and load it into S3 every 100 seconds. Hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching.